It is finally that time of year. Fresh color, spring planting, summer blooming. Plant now for color all summer. I'm so pumped for all this. Now, I'm gonna have you guys look at all the perennials that they have here. They have tons and tons of bulbs. You are gonna see several different colors of clematis or clematis, however you would like to say it. I actually say clematis. Um, you're gonna have daylilies, and that is such a great color. The blackberries and cream is on my list, that is for sure. You're gonna have more daylilies. Those are so popular. They are one of my favorite flowers to have. I guess all of the flowers are my favorite. You're gonna have a red hot poker, which I'm hoping mine come up this year. It's my first time planting them. They're actually a zone five and I live in a zone four. So we will see if those come up. There's really, really, really pretty iris. Um, that blue, I have some of those purple ones already. That blue is on my list, that's for darn sure. I'm gonna have an oriental mix of lilies. How pretty for Easter. I have all of them except for the light pink one. You see that you have some poppies in there. You're gonna have Lily of the Valley. And these are all perennials, so they come back every single year. For running, Lily of the Valley takes over everywhere. So be cautious when you're planting that or plant it in a container. You have the white lilies. You're gonna have a huge variety. the bottom you're gonna see that there is some poppies all these bulbs you're gonna see there's a price and how many come in them all of these are five dollars you're gonna have some hostas and the olive bailey hosta is a hosta that I'm gonna have to purchase this year I don't normally get a lot of bulbs, but it is fun to plant them. You can see here, just that peach color lily, dark purple and orange, and you got some naughty red, and they're really unique. I'm going to show you the annual bulbs. You have some canna lilies. There's a whole bunch of them. They're so pretty. You can actually overwinter them if you bring them in. I actually forgot to bring mine in. There's a variety of colors of dahlias. On the other side of this rack, there's dinner plate size dahlias. Oh, I think I'm going to have to try them. I don't plant annuals just because I like everything to come back every year but some things you can overwinter and that is something that I want to experiment as well. Same with bringing the can of lilies inside. There is tons of such pretty flowers. You're going to see that there's elephant ears and I personally have never planted these, but the bulbs are huge. Then you got gladiolas. Those are always very pretty when they bloom. They do fall over quite easily, so sometimes you gotta have something to stake them, but they are great flower. On this side of the rack, there is a stilbees. If that's how you say it, that's just how I say it. Sometimes I butcher things but I tried it from the roots before and it just did not turn out. So I did buy um, a planted one before and oh, 
it's pretty very very pretty you're gonna have hostas you have hollyhocks those um come back every other year you're gonna have some ferns those tend to take over they like the shade you're gonna have some echinaceas those you can get the seeds from them and have many for years to come you see there's some bleeding hearts those like shade and daylilies so some of these are roots some of these are bulbs they're all different looks like somebody hid a canna lily in there I can see that The lilies are coming out with so many different kinds. It's crazy, but awesome at the same time. Here there are a bunch of peonies at the bottom. I have never started a peony before from the beginning. So I think I'm gonna try this year because all these flower colors are, oh, I just, I don't have any other words for gorgeous beautiful and pretty I have a pink color and I have a dark color and I just got white and I hope that they last over this last winter but this color on the complete bottom to the left bowl of beauty I need to get that one that is completely on my list to get I'm gonna show you a couple that really stood out to me. Oh, would you look at that? This one must be really, I wanna say rare, but it only has one bulb in it. That's crazy. And this is on my list too, however you say it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Blue Wonder. These echinaceas, I highly, highly suggest. Next to it, you're gonna see um, some Black Eyed Susans. And you got some Phlox. Oh, these are pretty you're gonna see that they have all the seeds out for flowers perennials and you got annuals and the vegetables are out too not at a super center right now so this walmart doesn't have absolutely everything out but i walked down this aisle and i was in shock i was so amazed they had these last year um the ten dollars for like um 32 bulbs I see, six, you know, it's all different. But um, they had these just in boxes this year. They're, they have a little handle. Some are annuals, some are perennials. But this is a really great deal. It looks like you can get 10 lily bulbs for $10. So that is great. You have hollyhocks, you're gonna have four roots for them. Bleeding Hearts, now it's a little cheaper, but it's only coming with one root. The Daylily only has two roots in it. The Orange has two roots for $3. So it's just two less roots. Actually, I can't even say that there was five in the other ones. But you just want to make sure that you're watching how many come in there and what you're paying. These are on my list. <laughs> wow, look at that deep black color I had a hollyhock before and didn't come back last year so I don't know if it's gonna come back this year because I planted something over it cuz I'm like hmm it's dead <laughs> even though it comes every other year asparagus those take forever to grow from the roots like but it is so worth it they have vegetables out too right now so you got your onions, the white, yellow, red onion. See that you got some garlic out and they're all $3. You're just gonna wanna watch of how many come in them. So you can go to like Fleet Farm to get bulbs, Lowe's, Home Depot, all that kind of stuff. But Walmart does have some affordable pricing and you got strawberries. Again, you have Lily of the Valley. Be very careful with that. Um, Caladium mix. Those, I believe, are for the shade. 
not 100% positive. That Stargazer Lily, those are one of my favorites too. If somebody asked me, what is your favorite? I could never tell you in order at all. Pretty sure I planted some of these last year. And if not, I need to get some. Because I love feeding the hummingbirds and to see them. If you try any of these or get them from Walmart, make sure you let me know and send pictures when you plant, when they're coming up, and when they bloom. It's awesome just to take progress pictures. I'm so jealous of that red hot poker <laughs> for those who can really grow them well. I'm just praying that mine comes up. And one of the most popular colors for the echinacea is that purple. Um, echinaceas are also called just like cone flowers. And you're going to have columbine right there that you see a butterfly on. Those are really great. You should be starting your vegetables inside if you haven't already. Um, a great one to start is like your tomatoes and peppers. Yeah, get them going. So they have tons of supplies. I have not started anything this year. I haven't last year either. I haven't really done that too much. I did once, but I don't have the proper setup. And again, I have five cats. So someday I will. Got tons of gloves, and I got some gloves from here, and they work great. They have tons of lights for outdoors and solar lights to go in the ground. I'm loving showing you guys all this stuff because every year they have like the same things but just like different designs. So, this is the 2020 designs. If you hear that in the background, again, it's a cat <laughs> being crazy. It's nighttime right now that I'm doing this, and well, you know what happens at night with cats? They don't sleep. Last year, I got a ton of stuff on clearance from the gardening section at Walmart. So here is some of the things that you can use when you need to water your flowers and your vegetables. So all of the watering holes and the attachments. They have all this out already and the swimming supplies as well. There's tons of stuff if you need to start grass anywhere. I can't wait for the grass just to be green. The fertilizers are next to it as well. All The all-purpose fertilizer and that tomato fertilizer I have used and I've really liked it. I've had no complaints. These Job's houseplant sticks are 88 cents here at Walmart and $1 at Dollar Tree. So I'll just watch out for that. And you're going to have more plant food and stuff for the ticks and fleas and ants and flies <laughs> all that sorts of stuff same with the weed killer on the right and here is all the new 2020 designs for the citronella candles and bug spray Time for all the planters, which is in the clearance aisle, and that's two of my favorite things. <laughs> so you have tons of pots this year, and they are a lot and lot of new designs. And I think they are adorable. You can see that it says new all over the place. And I want to say most of these design of pots are new. So have fun taking a look and make sure you get some and once again you can also if you have tons now just like me I don't need any but it's gonna be great clearance 
with whatever is left this year. I use a ton of the black pots right here and also the terracotta pots. That's where I get a lot of them from. I do get some from the Dollar Tree, which it's a four pack, but it's just not as much as good as quality. Side note here, all the disinfecting wipes are basically gone in this store. I just needed toilet paper and all that was gone too. It's unbelievable. While I'm at Walmart, I took a look at the shoes too, and these new shoes are cute. And these shoes right here are the most comfiest shoes that you can ever wear. And they're super cheap too. I have these on in a glitter pair and I could own a pair of every single color. They're that comfortable. Placemats are on clearance for 50 cents. And you got some vases for Mother's Day that are out. You got new plates in this really great blush color and they are plastic all the stuff for the snow cones are out and for you to make ice cream they got some new kids bedding out as well right now some soft comfy blankets and they have this really cute rug and you guessed it I had to come to Walmart for spray paint again the last time I was here, the white spray paint I got was not working. Like, it didn't come out at all. And would you look at that? Every single one is off the shelf. I just wanted to show you my favorite command strips that I use. These ones right here are so good. I use them for all my decorations, for hanging lights outside when I hang lights, and all of my picture frames according to the weight. I use these strips usually I use the large ones and I always have them on hand and I found a new way to organize them too. check out my Instagram to see that I ran into a bunch of clearance items so you're gonna see all these ceiling fans are on clearance which it's not a bad deal at all and the accessories that come with them as well are on clearance I'm thinking about changing out mine too, but Brad would not be happy. <laughs> you got some light bulbs too that are on clearance. Super cheap. And a bunch of lights for outside as well. And a bunch of the long light bulbs too. It's that time of year. And you're going to see there's humidifiers on clearance along with all of the hunting stuff so if you need any of this stuff for next year or now i suggest you go and get it because it's on great clearance and the window kits also are on clearance i don't know how many times i can say clearance but clearance is awesome <laughs> and in this section as well i got tons of plastics that i can put over my flowers in case it snows again this year hopefully it doesn't and you're gonna see that you have lots of choices for heaters too and same with those block thingy dingies i say thingy dingies way too much I say a lot of things too much anyways there is some kids bicycle stuff on sale along with this right there Look at this picture for only $7, and it's white. A lot of these things in this aisle I have shown you before, but they have added new items as well now that they're getting rid of everything. Now that it's springtime and winter is aka mm, over. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything on clearance, and I can show you more next month and in the future so make sure you subscribe so that you can see everything thank you